Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to use the animals, items, and vehicle tools that are found within the spawn tab. Now I'm doing all three today because they're very similar to each other, and if you know how to use one, you pretty much know how to use them all. The only difference is the IDs to spawn the objects will be different, but I will have links to the wiki pages and all that into the description so that won't be a problem now I'm gonna start with the animals but the only thing about animals is there really is no list for the IDs because there was only two animals that have ever been used potentially a third like a moose but it was never implemented and currently there's only one animal that you can actually spawn and that is the deer they've taken the pig out for the time being not sure why it's kinda of too bad because it's nice having the variety so you can hunt multiple things. But anyway, this is how you use the item placer thing. So, whenever you start to place uh, animals or items or vehicles, you have to create a table. So, if you want to name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it deer since that's what it's going to be spawning. So, it creates one, and the zero is just for organizational purposes. If you create another one, it's just gonna have a one by it and it's gonna go you know so on and so on it's not really a big deal so once you create this selection you have to select one of them and you can change the color of the marker all that does is change the color of the node where or the position it's gonna be spawned it's pretty much just for organizational purposes so pretty much if I did have pigs in here which there aren't any pigs but I can make the pigs like pink or something or red and I can make the deer yellow just so I could tell the difference between where they're gonna spawn okay so after you do that you have to add a tier and really I just put like the tier as one it does it could be anything it could be normal it could be awesome it could be whatever you want but pretty much if you add more than one tier it's gonna start having these percentage bars that'll change as they move now this sets the rarity that these items or animals or vehicles will spawn in that position so let's say under uh, tier one I've got a deer under tier two I've got a pig if I place this down and you place them down just by clicking there'll be a 72% chance that a deer will spawn there and there will be a 27% chance that a pig will spawn there and of course there's decimals because those don't add up to 100 but that might be 72.5 and that might be 27.5 so they just can't show decimals there and okay another th good thing to know is that when you place these spawns even if the tier is at 100% there is always a chance that nothing will spawn there. I don't know what that chance is. I think it's pretty high, like maybe 40%, something like that. So along with the 100% or you know the 73 to 26%, there's also a 40% out of all of that that nothing will spawn there at all. So if you really want to spawn something in an area, it's good to place down a couple just so that you at least have one spawn there. So now let's get into adding the IDs and adding the animals into these groups. So I'm just going to delete this second tier. And how you do that, you press on the tier, you press subtract. And since I really only need one tier because there's only one animal, I'll show you where you need multiple tiers. That'll be in the items because there's tons of items to work with. So now in this tier one, the ID for the deer is one. So you put the ID in. It can be zero, one, or just one. It's the same thing. You press add, and it ends up being the deer. Okay. If you want to add more than one deer, you can't because there's already one in there. If you want to subtract that, click on it, press the subtract button. So pretty much now, wherever these spawns are, there will be a hundred percent chance if it's going to spawn something that a deer will spawn. So there'll always be a deer that spawns there. And I was uh, looking into the deer and stuff, and I found out that it's actually not good to put deer and other animals by complex objects like these uh, 
houses or any items or cars or something because they don't have really good um, AI for finding their way around. So they might get confused and lost and won't be able to run away from you very well or very realistically, which might be a good thing. But, you know, just so you know. So now when you get rid of these nodes, you have to be selected on, like, let's see. If I select this other one, it'll be white. Okay? And if I place them down, I've got to press add and I can place them down. So, I mean, that's how you can distinguish between them. But when you subtract, it can subtract all types, no matter which one's selected. So that's the animals. Yeah, there's no list for those animals. Now, as we move on to items, as you can see, they're almost exactly the same. And items includes weapons, food, drink, um, clothes, accessories, anything like that. Anything you can hold in your inventory, wood, building materials, stuff like that. Now, as you start it out with animals, you have to start out the same way. You can you have to add a table. So if I want to say guns, right? I want to have a spawn for guns. And I want to make sure I know which one that is, so I'm going to make it red. Okay? So let's say I want to have some guns right here in this building. And the nice thing about these spawns is you can place them within buildings, on top of buildings, on the side. So I want to have a big stash of guns right here. Well, not really big. Really, probably only one, two, or three will spawn there. So now i got to add a tier. So I want to have a common tier and I want to have a rare tier and obviously the common tier will have more of a percent but not all of a percent compared to the rare tier so I'm gonna give them you know roughly an eighty percent chance and the rare a twenty percent chance now I've got to start adding these item IDs now I will have this linked in the description but I've got the wiki page up right here and so this is a great wiki page. At first it just gives you all the IDs straight down. You know, it's it's a pain to look through them all. But they're all there and there's quite a lot. There's up to uh it goes from 500 to 1000. I'm not sure why. Maybe they left that area open for modded items. I'm not really sure. But below this, which is really nice, you've got um little sections of organized weapons like bows, crossbow, maple bow, birch bow, pine bow, compound bow, and then civilian weapons, military weapons, police, RMCP, prototype, and ranger, all that stuff. So, I really want some common weapons in here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, you know, a weapon that's pretty common. That's like, let's see, like the eagle fire, that should be pretty common. So, when I select the common, go down here press 4 which is the ID for the eagle fire now we got the eagle fire in there then let's see I want to add another one let's go ace you know add a pistol in there that is 107 we got the ace and I'm gonna add one more and that'll be the classic maple strike 363 There we go. So now we got those three in there. And so there's a 80% chance that one of these will spawn. And so if that 80% chance is selected, it'll be random which each of these is spawned. So now let's go into the rare. So right now we've selected common. But if you click rare, all those would disappear because there's nothing in the rare section. So let's find something that's really rare. And let's see, rocket launcher. That should be rare. 519 so we got the rocket launcher and let's see there should be oh, I must have passed it but yeah oh yeah that's what I was looking for shadow stalker that should also be really rare because those are OP weapons right there so now when you play the game, whenever you get close to this, it'll have the percent chances that they will spawn. I accidentally placed one there. Yeah, I can just get rid of that. No big deal. So, yeah, that's how it works. Now, if you wanted to make another table and have it f be food, you know, you can make one for food, clothes. 
you can get as detailed as you want and you can have as many of these as you want in one of my custom maps I had probably 90 of these tables each with different chance for items that can spawn in them so yeah and it works exactly like the animals except the IDs are different that's the only thing so yeah pretty simple to use now let's move on to vehicles now the vehicles work exactly the same way and I'll give you an example just the uh, the place where it spawns looks different because it includes a direction and the way you customize that direction is you change this angle right here and as you can see that car icon is moving so if I want to have one face that way then I can have one face that way you know you could use it to make really nice organized parking lots you know whatever we want so I'm going to subtract these because really those don't have anything assigned to them if I can subtract these okay yeah guys just a warning I think yes okay I found a bug actually if you start placing down vehicles that don't have any table or anything attached to them they will be glitched and they will stay there now they won't do anything so really it just adds to the visual clutter so it I mean it's kind of annoying but it's still not really a big deal but anyway let's add a table so if I want to do basic cars because there are special cars like like uh, the fire truck the Humvee ACP you know stuff like that and I'm gonna make these cars blue and I'm adding tier common and really I'm just gonna add one tier because I don't really care about the rarity of these cars but so now the next step is to check in the IDs now I'm also gonna have this uh, wiki link in the description as well so let's see there's a ton of colors of off roaders hatchbacks trucks and stuff you really just have to choose and you know you can just do them all it would take a long time but you know you can do whatever but this uh, wikis um, organized the same way you've got the vehicles all of the vehicle ones and then you've got list of vehicles by type so off-roader hatchback truck sedan police fire hospital van all that stuff so let's see I want a blue van in that list so 36 there we go blue van how about a green sedan 27 there we go green sedan and I'll put one more uh, how about a red truck 22 classic red truck so now that I've got that set up I can just put these down and just like the items and the animals there is some sort of chance that none will spawn in each of these positions and it's quite a high percentage like for the vehicles it's even higher I think it's like 60 percent that nothing will spawn no matter what these percents are set at so that's kind of a bummer because it is kind of hard to get vehicles in there you gotta put a lot of spawns see I bet I'll, I'll test this world in a minute but I bet that only one or two will spawn in this parking lot area so now I'm gonna do special cars and I'm just gonna show you some of the special cars that are available and I'm gonna make these yellow if I can find the color for yellow what is it, is it like green and red yep it's green and red yeah guys the color slider is kinda tricky it's it's weird so I'll make these yellow cars this other group I'll make them facing that way you know I'll just place a couple down here another good thing to know is that if something's in the way the car will not spawn there so see how I've got these two pretty close to each other if I made them overlap like this and the first car spawned the second car would not spawn so I mean it's a good idea not to do that in general anyway so now let's put some car IDs in there so let's get to some more special cars like police car that should definitely be rarer oh I didn't add a table guys you always have to add a table okay so we got a police car um, ah, comments at the bottom we don't need to see those uh, 51 for a euro those are probably my favorite guys Euros are the best oh and guys by the way 
with a new update they've changed all the military vehicles into forest into forest color now the wiki doesn't show the um, regular desert colors anymore but there are desert colors available uh, you just have to find the IDs somewhere else and maybe I'll put those in the description if I can look up after I make this video and find them so and then let's do a Humvee 52 all right and as you see it's a forest Humvee just because of that update okay so that's pretty good so now let's uh, save the map create an, an overview of the map might as well and let's exit so now let's play the map and I'm just gonna do it on easy so I don't have to worry about uh, hunger or anything like that okay so I'm in the world and sadly I deleted those uh, deer spawns otherwise I could probably hunt some deer with the guns I spawned in here okay so let's see let's see how this works so yeah, here's the gun spawns. As chances had it, uh, an eagle fire spawned and two aces. And as chance had it here, for some reason only red pickup trucks spawned. And the nice thing about these trucks is they automatically spawn with a gas level between, I think it's 20% and like 10%. They can't get lower than 10%, but the highest they can get is like 20. And as you can see, these special cars spawned as well. But you know, they function like normal. Just, you know, your average car. And when you're playing your map, these cars will not respawn until they have been destroyed. So... If I can destroy this. Okay, there we go. That was pretty easy, actually. So now that this car is destroyed, next time I get on or get close to this area, it, there's another chance for this car or another car to spawn in the spot that it was located in before. And that works for pretty much all items. Dang, these things don't hold enough ammo. Alright guys, well this is probably the end of my video because I'm about to die. Yeah, look at that ragdoll. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please like it if you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, please subscribe to our channel because I'll be going over the zombies next and... It's placing items and objects and all that that I haven't covered yet in this uh, tutorial series. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.